scale. It's again, it's related to ratio and proportion. It's all about finding out what one can do. So I went, to, I went to New York a few years ago. Um, it's a lovely place, I don't know if anyone's ever been, but it's a really nice place. And when I come back, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to build a scale model of the Empire State Building in my back garden. Now, I couldn't build the real building because it's 443 metres tall. I've just not got that room in the garden. So I thought, I'm going to scale it down. I need to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use the scale of 1 to 400. And basically, all that means is that my model is going to be 400 times smaller than the real thing. So all you do with this and scale, in its basic and most simplest form, you take the height of the Empire State Building, which is 443 metres, and you just divide it by the scale, which in this case is 400. And that means that my model is 400 times smaller than the real thing. So 443 divided by 400 is going to give us... 1.075. So my scale model is going to be 1 metre, 0.1075. It's just over a metre top. You look nice down the garden. And that's how it works. So if you're scaling something down, you just divide it by that number. That's an irrelevant number. It's just by the big number, the 400. So at lunchtime I was a bit bored. So I drew a picture of, a, of my dream car. There it is. And there it is. And I drew it on a piece of A4 paper, okay, which is, the, which is this big. Now obviously that's too small for me to drive. So I thought to myself, I'll use the scale of 1 to 16. <coughs> 1 to 16. So my model, when I drew it, was 300 millimetres long, okay? But I built it to the scale of 1 to 16. How long is my real car going to be? How long is my real car going to be? Time. Yes, you timed it because we're scaling up, we're making bigger. 4,800. 4,800 uh, millimetres. Mm -hmm. So what would that be in metres? 4.8. 4.8 metres, 4.8 metres, which is about the size of a, a, a car. So that's all you've got to remember about scale. Is that if you're scaling down, so if you're going from a giant building or a distance in real life, and you're scaling it down to a little model or scaling it down to put it on a map, you divide. If you're scaling something up, if you've got a little, a little map and you want to know how far it is in real life, you multiply. Multiply makes things bigger. Okay? Multiply makes things bigger. So, let's have a look at this next slide. Exam question. Take from an exam paper. What we've got here is a little diagram of, uh, of a shape there, a quadrilateral. We've got to draw that shape on this grid here. Each of these squares is a centimetre. These are all metres. So that's obviously not going to fit on there. So they've said, oh, use this scale. One centimetre is equal to 40 metres. Okay? So that means that one centimetre on there is equal to 40 metres on there. Okay? So what do you think you do with the numbers on the picture? Divide by 40. Divide them all by 40. So let's do it. Let's start with the easiest one, which is 160 metres. I'm going to divide that by 40. So what's that going to give us? Four. Four. So I'll get a pen over here. <coughs> so pick a, pick, pick a point on the map. We've done this one. We said it's four. So we'll just do four squares. One, two, three, four. Excuse my drawing. What about 220 divided by four? What does that give us? 
220 divided by 4. By, by 40, sorry. 5.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and a half. What about 340 divided by 40? What does that give us? 8 and a half. 8 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and a half. We haven't got a measurement for A to D there, but that doesn't matter because all we do is this. Boom, we've done it. We've made that picture 40 times smaller than it actually is in real life. That's exactly what we've done. That's exactly what, So don't be frightened, don't be worried about seeing this kind of question because the information you've got is here. Because we knew we had to make it smaller, we divided. We divide. Yeah. That's all we need to do. So, don't be frightened. You see scale in a question, don't be frightened about it. Okay? What we do need to remember is this. Is to convert between kilometres, metres and centimetres. We need to understand this because some of the questions that you're going to get will be relating to a map and distances on a map. And when they give you scale model, uh, scales with maps, they're always in centimetres, or nine times out of ten in centimetres, but they want the actual measurements in, in kilometres, okay? Which is two jumps, basically. It's two jumps. So, this kind of little graphic here will, 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 will help you with this. So, for example, if you've got something... 2,300 millimetres, making them to metres. Instead of doing one big jump and going from millimetres to metres, you do it in two steps. You first of all convert it to the next size unit, which is a centimetre, and then you convert it from a centimetre to a metre. You do it in two steps, okay? So, 2,300 millimetres to metres. Millimetres, First of all, you change it to centimetres by dividing it by 10, because there's 10 millimetres in a centimetre. That then would become 230 centimetres. And then you would divide it by 100 to get it to metres. So you do it in two steps. Rather than trying to jump from there to there, whew, by missing that section out, do you can easily get it wrong. So do it in two stages. Yeah? Do it in two stages. 2.3. Yeah? Now you could divide it by a thousand, which is a hundred times ten. But that looks a bit confusing. Okay? So we do it in two stages. Centimetres to kilometres. Okay? So we go from the centimetres to the metres first by dividing it by a hundred. Take off two knots. And then we go from the metres to the kilometres by dividing it by a thousand. Does that make sense? You're doing it in two steps rather than one big step. That's showing it as one big step, but you're doing it in two steps. Divide it by a hundred first, then divide it by a thousand. You could divide it by a hundred thousand. But from the experience that I've had and I've seen from people doing these in the exams, they forget a step and they go from there to there, but they forget it's going to be a hundred thousand, yeah? They just do it by a thousand. So try to do it in two steps, yeah? Two, three, four, zero, 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 divided by a hundred, so I've gone from centimetres to metres, two, three, four, zero metres, and then I've gone from metres to kilometres by dividing it by a thousand, 2.34, yeah? Two steps. 75 kilometres to metres. What would we do with that number? What do you think? The time's it. Or do it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> 75 <laughs> times a thousand, because there it is. In red. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Well done. So, we need to understand that. We need to understand that. Yeah, if you're really, 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 really confident and you've, you've, you've got this skill, 
then yeah, miss out the one. Miss out the middle one. But always remember then to include that in the calculation. Yeah? Otherwise, do it in two steps. Think about the size of the units, millimetres, very tiny little things, centimetres, slightly bigger, metre, this long, kilometre, big distance. Yeah? Tiny, tiny little movements. Do it in two steps rather than try to do it in one. Okay? Shall we have a look at a question? Let's have a look at a question. Here we go. The distance between Lancaster and Skipton on the map is 8 centimetres. The map has a scale of 1 to 1 million. That map is 1 million times smaller than it is than the real life. That's what that means. That map is 1 million times smaller than real life. How far is that distance in kilometres in reality? Okay, so we take the measurement on the map, which is 8 centimetres. We scale it up by a million, because the map's a million times smaller. So it's 8 times a million is 8 million. Okay, so far, so good. They're centimetres, and they want us to give the answers in kilometres. So we have to first of all go from centimetres to metres. How many centimetres are in a metre? 100. So we take the 8 million and we divide it by 100. Which gives us this number here, 80,000. We then divide that by 1,000, because we're going from millimetres, sorry, to kilometres. So we get 80, 80 kilometres. Two stages, two steps. Not one big step. Does that make sense? Yes? Yeah? I'm glad you think so, because here's your example to have a work out at. The distance on this map between Upper Mill, which is there, and Lynn here is 12 centimetres. So how far is this in kilometres? There's the scale for the map. There's, this, there's the map scale. Let's see if you can work that out. So that map is a lot smaller than real life. So how are we working this question now? How are we working now? So the distance on the map is 12 centimetres. It's obviously not that in real life, is it? Nine hundred and fifty thousand times bigger in real life. Is that what the map is saying us? Yeah, nine five zero zero zero. Nine hundred and fifty thousand. So what we're going to do with that twelve? Times. We're going to times it. 
is the four knots, there's four knots. Okay? Twelve times nine five zero 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 three. Yeah? <coughs> Which is I don't know, it's one. One. I've got an answer. I've got the answer here. One, one, four, and then a load of knots. How many knots? Five, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's in centimetres. Yeah, that's in centimetres. The answer has got to be in kilometres. So, that's a centimetre. So, the next increment up from that is going to be a metre. Though we know that there were 100 centimetres in a metre, so we're going to take that number and we're going to divide it by 100, yeah? Mm -hmm. Easy, cross two knots off. Okay? One, one, four, one, two, three knots left. So now we're going to go from metres, because they're metres now, up to kilometres. Can we remember how many metres is in a kilometre? A thousand. So now we're going to divide that by a thousand. Three knots. One, two, three. Oh, 114 kilometres. Make sense? 114 kilometres. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. So, despite the m massive size of the numbers, don't be too concerned. Don't be too concerned about what you've got to do. Just remember, if you're making something bigger, you multiply it. If you're making something smaller, you divide it. Okay? Something smaller. Than that. I'm trying to think of a question off the top of my head that came up in the exam. Uh, I'll make some numbers up as I'm doing it. I want us to have a go at this one. I want us to have a go at this one. going to put some lights around this bandstand. This is a bandstand. So you're going to put some lights around the bandstand. Okay? The lights come in packs of 1.2 meters. The cost per pack Is twelve ninety nine. How much for the lights? All right. How much going to cost us to put the lights around? So that's a typical exam style question. There is one that's like that in the exam, but I can't remember the exact figures, the exact measurements. But what's it asking you here in this particular question? It's asking you, although there's a scale in there, it's also asking you. A circumference question because she's going to put some lights around the bandstand. So it's a circumference question. So it's asking you to think back to how we worked out the circumference because these are the lights that are going around here. So to work out the circumference of a circle, what do we have to do? We have to use a formula, don't we? Can we remember the formula? 3.14 times the form pi times pi oh, eight, nine, because no. no. it's the diameter, pi times the diameter, so we've got 3.14 multiplied by nine, okay, so what's that going to give us, if somebody could look that out nice and quickly, 28.26, 28.26, Centimetres, we're in centimetres. That's a very tiny bandstand. It's a very small bandstand, that isn't it? It's a circumference of, you know, that much. Not going to get much of a band on there. Oh, but hang on a minute. We've got a scale. We've got a scale. So that means that this bandstand, this picture of this bandstand, is 300 times smaller than the real thing. 
So what are we going to do with that 28.26? What are we going to do with it? We're times it by 300. We're times it by 300. 8478. 8478. Yeah. Again, we're still in centimetres. We've not changed the units yet, we're still in centimetres. We're in centimetres there, we're in centimetres there, we're in centimetres here. We've not changed the centimetres yet. But now we know that the circumference of that bandstand is 8,473, sorry, 78 centimetres. Now, the packs of lights come in lengths of 1.2 metres. So what have we got to do with the 8,478? Convert it to metres. Convert it to metres by dividing it by... Hundred? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is going to give us... 84.78 metres, yeah, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Right, we've done the hard part, the hard part's now done. We know now that the circumference of that bandstand is 84.78 metres. We go to the shop, the packs of lights come in 1.2 metre lengths. We need to know how many packs of lights we need or how many lengths of lights we need. So what we're going to do with the 84.78, we're going to do a division, division by 1.2. So that's our next sum. 84.78 divided by 1.2 equals... 70.65, but you round up to 71. 70.65, so we need 71 packs of lights at £12.99 each. Nine hundred and twenty-two pounds twenty-eight. Nine hundred and twenty-two pounds and a few pence, sixty p. Twenty-nine p. It's a bit expensive for some lights around the bandstand, but there you go. So you can see, uh, yeah, you could get a standalone scale question like this on a map, or you could get it in part of another question. Little bandstand make it bigger there's the scale yeah which is drawn at the the other bit of information so this is asking you to remember how to do a circumference then it's asking you how to do a scale it's asking you to how to do a conversion then it's asking you how much how many lights you need and how much it's going to cost that'll get you about five marks okay there's a bit going on there's a bit going on this one probably get you a couple of marks that's all yeah there's a lot, a, a lot less going on but that's how they're going to use the scale. That's how we'll use it. And all you've got to remember is, if you're making something bigger, you multiply. If you're making something smaller, you divide. And that's, I mean, that's common sense, isn't it? If you're making something smaller, you divide. So that's scale. That's scale. Yeah, okay with that?